Dollars off me. Golden stuff. They stole all the stuff. Like shark men, they came for the dark men. For the golden stuff. They stole all the stuff. Well, Napoleon Maddox is an award-winning composer, writer, vocalist, hip-hop performance artist, and just a good guy from Cincinnati. And now he's taking people on a unique, ambitious musical journey. Journey. He revisits the true story of his ancestors who were conjoined twins, celebrities from Whiteville, North Carolina, known as Millie Christine McCoy. He'll present their story twice the first time at the Woodward Theater this coming Friday night, and Napoleon Maddox joins us now, along with music producer Sorg. Is it Sorg or Sorg? Sorg. Sorg, okay. Nice to, uh, nice to meet you, and Napoleon, always good to see you. Uh, so I'm more familiar with your work in your band Is What, mm -hmm. uh, but this is kind of an offshoot for you, a solo performance uh, that you've been working on with Sorg. Um, so tell us a little bit about how this whole thing came together with Millie Christine. Well, it's a story that I grew up with. My mother told me and my sisters about this story from childhood. I, I realized recently that I probably knew this story by the time I knew my ABCs. Um, and so, be, as, as you said, performing a, a long time with Is What and touring the world, I, a lot of different questions and ideas came to mind about, like, wow, um, I've known this story, but now I see it in a different way because they did travel the world and they also lived in many ways dual identities as one person and two people at the same time um, because they were connected, you know. They were literally conjoined twins. They were literally connected. And, and through this show, you kind of take us on their history because they were in, born enslaved, correct? That's right. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit more about their journey, what we'll see in the show. So their journey is incredible because um, they were kidnapped twice or stolen twice by the by by their third birthday Jeez. and the second time they were taken to um, england and exhibited there where ironically slavery had already been abolished but um in order to retrieve them and bring them back there the people who owned them took their mother with them who was also enslaved at the time and then rejoined them to bring them back to the united states where slavery was still going on and then they spent uh, their years growing up, their formative years, being in freak shows and circuses and things like that, but they continued to perform and they were successful as performers and gained enough uh, wealth and notoriety to buy the plantation where they had been previously wow. enslaved. That's so, amazing. And they were quite celebrities of yeah, their time, yeah. I bet. And so, how did you get together with Napoleon? You composed the music for this, correct? Yeah, I composed mm, basically the, the half of the production of the music, but we, we were already um, making music together for a long time in France. We have a project named Thorg and Napoleon Maddox, so it was like, yeah, he called me when he started to make the project, saying we, we, we can do something together. So we used some track that we did together. And, and yeah, I'm part in the project. And yeah, and it just came together. Beginning. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Now this is part of a jazz festival that yeah. you have going on this yeah. weekend for a couple weeks. Tell us about that festival. It's the second annual Underworld Jazz Festival, and it's really exciting because last year we did a. It was it was quite an achievement, but this year we really. We went big. We, we laid, as they say, go big or go home. Yeah. We was like, we're not going home. We're going big. So we got uh, uh, artists, international artists, yeah. and then we have artists from from New York and New Orleans and Columbus. Um, there's there we have uh, one that's sold out. That's uh, occurring just the night before. Yeah. Uh, twice the first time and that's going to sell out as well and then we also had a component of the festival is the mobilization of Congo Square. So the name of the festival is the the uh, Underworld Jazz Festival okay. and the idea is connecting this great history of continuum music from spirituals all the way up wow. through through hip hop and oh. telling the story. Napoleon, I love it. You're such an amazing person and this will be an amazing festival. So here's the details on the screen right here. I wish we had more time with you guys, but uh, you can go and see their performance. Uh, the, the performance for Napoleon's show is Friday night. Doors open at seven. It's at the Woodward Theater and over the Rhine. And you can go to local12.com and click on the Get It Now links to find more information about the entire jazz festival. Thank you guys so much for Thank being you here. For Good having luck us. with yeah, this. Here. This is great. We'll be right back.